It's time to generally manage a wrestling show. Once again, what's good internet? My name is Attack Slug. This is the WWE 2K22 GM Mode. I'm here. I'm doing it. I am a custom superstar. I am playing as myself. And I am playing up against one of the greatest minds in this business, period, Mr. William Regal. But I am going to be the red brand. The Raw side. And over the years, plenty of folks have asked, how do you fix Raw? How do you make Raw better? Cut the third hour. Problem solved. Anyhow, this is war. But not Wardlow, unfortunately. I will face up against William Regal. And he will run SmackDown. Gonna put it on normal for 15 weeks. And with a custom draft pool. I've made a few changes here. But it's generally what is on disc plus the current DLC. So, that being said and done, we're doing a manual draft, obviously. Let's begin the draft, shall we? Each GM gets 2.7 mil. We take turns, eight rounds of drafting, and I can get recommendations. Yes, I know. I know. Pick number one. Well, at the very start, I do not see Brock Lesnar. I do not see Roman Reigns. So, let's scroll for a bit here. I think it was already sorted by cost, and I just kind of did it backwards. So, Becky Lynch is the most expensive here on this roster. But yes, down from there. So, Book, Drew, Asuka, and then Owens is here, Rollins is here, uh, Gunta is in here, Elias, Miz, Lashley, yeah. So, okay, that means free agent Roman Reigns and free agent Brock Lesnar are going to be in the cards. So do I build this whole division around Becky Lynch, or do I go with perhaps a Drew McIntyre as my top male champion? I'm going to go with Drew here on Raw. So Drew, first round draft pick. Regal picks Booker T. Can you dig that? Now, the recommendation here with McIntyre is going to be MVP. And, sure, he is indeed ballin' and can pair up well with Drew, but Randy Orton, way better pick. McIntyre, Randy Orton are two top-tier talents. Certainly having the Viper on Team Raw is going to be a great thing. Regal goes for Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin is who you pick, William Regal? Okay, I guess. Now then, we have our men's main top feud in the ladies' side. Do I go Becky or do I go Asuka? Becky is more expensive, but Asuka has more stamina and popularity by one point on each. I want the Empress of Tomorrow on my team. Meanwhile, yeah, that was bound to happen. Becky gonna go. But do we go with Alexa or do we go with the Queen Charlotte Flair. What do you recommend video game? Mandy Rose as a bruiser. Sasha... Oh, Sasha Banks is here. Okay, yes. Now, hold on a minute, playa. I was gonna grab Sasha because that's what it recommended, but I noticed that she does not pair well with Asuka. Meanwhile, Bianca Belair totally does. And it's the same cost for both, so we might go with the EST because Alexa also does not match up, and... Not Neither does the Queen. So, it's going to be Asuka and Bianca on Raw. Now then, Regal, how do you respond? Of course, the goddess Alexa Bliss. So, we have our world title set up. We have our women's world title set up. And I know they've added tag team titles. And certainly a thing to keep in mind here. But, I think right now... In terms of my budget with 1.7 million here on round five of the draft, I will take Kevin Owens. Give me KO. Get him in here. And Regal chose Tamina. Look, you're a man's man, but really? Nobody Mina than Tamina? Okay, now then, look at that. Finn Balor matches up with Kevin Owens and Drew. So yes. Balor Club is worldwide. Meanwhile, oh, went with the Gunta. Okay, sure. 
round seven, 1.2 mil in the bank. I should perhaps book a tag team, maybe? So who, who, who could be here in a tag team scenario? Are there any, are there any teams in here? We got Kofi and Woods. So why not sign or try to sign both Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods? So Kofi, former, former world champion, and Swerve goes to SmackDown. And then give me Xavier Woods on the show. All right. Now, this is round eight and MVP. So now I can end the draft at this juncture with 864 in the bank. And the problem is that I don't have any other guys for those two to fight in terms of tag teams. But you know what? We have this money in the bank. We can certainly sign in the free agents I'm hoping for, Roman or Brock, in those free agents. So I'm going to save that money for now and we'll hop into our first show for today. There is my roster, and honestly, not a bad roster, if I do say so myself, for Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, William Regal, he's going round nine. He wants worldwide Dakota Kai as well. Mandy Rose as well. Okay, Regal, look. Fabian Eichner as well. He's just Ily Juggernaut. Regal is going wild here. Natalia. And Otis. And are you done? Okay. Wild. His top two guys are Booker T and Happy Corbin. Yeah, okay. Sure. Look, Booker T, absolute legend. Corbin, not so much. So here is how things stack up before the first show happens. Can I go by and get past one of the greatest minds in this wrestling business, the real man's man? Brooklyn, New York. Four weeks till Backlash. Tonight is the night. The debut show. High hopes for myself. I was born for this. I've done this repeatedly in SVR and Fire Pro and Wrestling Empire. So, yes. Let's do it. And Regal is here to call me a miserable little toe rag. Sunshine. So, SmackDown going to the top. We'll see. You spent a lot more money than I did, Regal. So let's see how you do with Booker T as your top tier talent. Now then, your men's champion is going to be Drew McIntyre. And your women's champion is going to be Bianca. And first order of business is turning Asuka heel. Confirm. Wait, where's the tag belts? So local talent, etc., etc. Keep an eye on injuries. Sign free agents and or... Legends. So we have a mid card, but it didn't say, hey, make some tag team champions. So that being said and done, it's first week. I can't do anything here with this stuff, but I can go over here into the free agents and see who we got. Bobby Lashley, Rhea Ripley, Tommaso Ciampa, Chad Gable, and then, you know, jobbers. Okay. Who is in the legends? The Rock, Taker, Macho Man, Eddie, Brett, Nash, Kane, Andre. Hey. Do, 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 do. Ten weeks of John. Well, then. That's intriguing. But Regal signed so many more talent than I did, which is wild. So I should sign somebody. And I think that somebody... I'm going to get myself a Chad Gable, who is excellent, for five weeks, for 50 grand. Yes, indeed. And perhaps a job guy... Give me five weeks of the Red Monsoon. That's like a very fat Iron Sheik. Sure. Why not? Now that we have 800k in the bank, let's at least try to book our first show with what we have. Uh, play some power cards here. So, hmm. Let's use a power card and raise my lowest popular superstar by 20. So, wait, no. That's just the jobbers. I don't want to raise them. All right. You know what, Joel? You're up. Okay, Joe Wheeler. We're now at a 25 of popularity. Meanwhile, let's use our This Is War card on our first week. We're taking it to William Regal. It's happening. So three can't be booked. He signed so many, so it might not even matter. But in the same time, at the meantime, let's, let's book our main event 
first in just a standard match between Drew and non-title, but Drew and Randy. So they're doing their thing thing and no interference, just regular one-on-one -on -one contest. I want that first opening promo to be a role change for Asuka because we need that to happen. Now, can I also book her in a match? I don't think I can, but we're doing that because it has to happen. We need to have a face and a heel for that feud. So if I wanted to go into the mid card here and say, hey, what about Asuka? No, she's not here anymore. So that means we get a bit of an exhibition in our mid card with Miss Bianca Belair versus Andrea Cannons. Most regular indeed. Now, hot opening match. I want the Kevin Owens show. I want Kevin Owens and I want Finn Balor. And I want them in a hot opener. So tables match between these two top tier talents. On the mid card, meanwhile, we'll put perhaps a uh, Kofi Kingston versus the Red Monsoon. Because, sure, why not? I, bro, look. But what is my, hold on, what is my commissioner goal, first and foremost? What is the goal? So, don't put Finn Balor in a match this week. Ma look, man, that's not cool. That is harshing my buzz on this matchup. But Balor can be replaced here with Chad Gable. So, Chad Gable and Kevin Owens face versus heel, and that makes the show better even though I didn't book a Finn Balor on my show, which is unfortunate. So, promo from Xavier Woods. Hell yeah. Bit of advertising from a heel, Chad Gable, asking you to buy things. And shoosh! Not quite how I had planned the first show to happen. My budget here is 17500 We have our tables match, mid-card versus a jobber, mid-card versus a jobber, and our main event with this deal. So that does mostly meet what I wanted it to do, generally. And then I'll confirm my booking and let's get into it, shall we? Monday Night Raw, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, tables match. We will simulate this matchup. And your winner, The Prince, Balor Club, three stars, Owens and Balor, new Rivalry. Asuka turning heel. It was okay. No one was ready for that. Now then, Bianca versus a jobber. I'm going to assume Bianca here. Yes, indeed. And it was, eh, star and a half. And I didn't want them to be rivals, but okay. Chad Gable advertising. And that was okay. Negative six on that, but I got seven grand for that. Shoosh. So. Kofi versus Red Monsoon. Also, I don't want to feud here, but we'll see. And it was Kofi beating that job guy. One star, dull match. Wow. Okay. Xavier Woods, please salvage this show with a promo. It was okay. All right. And your main event, we will indeed spectate the Scottish Warrior and the Viper. Okay. Now, the question is, with the AI in control... Just how long the match would they have? Wait, hold on. I can change camera angles. Yeah, buddy. This is cool. What do we got? So I can change targets or not? It's just change spectator camera there. All right. So push target. Randy going upstairs already. Viper with the splash. And I can change my cameras. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Neck breaker from Drew. But... Back to the auto camera for the time being. So, the question is, how long and will one finisher finish these matches? I might actually go into the tweaking of the stuff in the main game and change it to, hey, one finisher should finish things and not drag them out over and over and over. So, the gut wrench from, oh, the powerbomb from McIntyre got him down. Two and a two count. I kind of want to have the the match highlights here, not really the full match, essentially. But hey, we'll see how it goes. Like, if it's a sh missed the headbutt there, we'll see how it goes. And 
just gut wrench right down. Drew is pissed. Drew is champion and can Randy fight back in that Boston Crab? Will he tap? Will he snap? Will he crap? So far, he's doing neither of those three. But Randall here just about has a SIG. So will we see some vintage Viper or will Drew just cut him off at the pass here as Drew is currently dominating this entire matchup? Beal! Drew going upstairs from all the way across the ring and totally whiffs that elbow drop. Meanwhile, Viper here. Oh, exploder suplex. Love to see it. And now Randall pulling for that punt. He wants to punt Drew. And did he hit it? I couldn't tell. Yes, he did. Okay. Out of nowhere, RKO. Is that enough to pin the champion? A rope break saves Drew's lifeline here. So, good lord. And now McIntyre almost at Sig with a bit of beat up health. And will he hit that DDT? Oh, future shock DDT. Onto Randy Orton. One, two, and a two count. But now Drew's got that Claymore in the tank, in the bag. Is that enough to take out the, the Apex Predator? He's stomping, folks. He's stomping. Three, two, one, Claymore to Randy Orton. Busted him open. That should be all she wrote. And it is. Winner, Drew McIntyre. So, non-title, Randy couldn't get it done. Two stars, mediocre. Man, come on. Ding, 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 gloom. Okay. Boo! Meanwhile, on SmackDown, you have Booker T, and you have him in the opening match when he's your top guy. So... Booker and Dragunov versus Fabian and Corbin. One, two, three. It is Dragunov and Booker. Two stars, mediocre. Mandy Rose with a self promo. Miss Mandy has a good promo. Walter and Swerve getting it on in the mid card. We have Volta, the ring general. Mediocre. Sure. Otis cutting a promo. I'm coming. And Otis with an excellent promo. Take. Titus versus MVP. Is he indeed bowling? Yep, sure is. Sure is. Two stars, mediocre. And your women's tag team titles? Okay. We have Natalia and Tamina versus Becky and Alexa. With Dakota Kai as a run-in. Man, Regal, going wild. And Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch win three stars. Okay. Okay. Now then, what happened? Good booking. Opener and main events were the highlight of your show as they should be. Focus on raising the quality of the matches. And there we go. So Owens and Balor. And then no injuries. Thankfully, I can get a much more in-depth match report. So, competitive and talented superstars, the match made fans happy. That's all you can ask for sometimes. Now, what was wrong here with, say, the main event? Why, why was it mediocre? So, Fighter and Bruiser got the attention. Without an established rivalry, the crowd's enthusiasm was at a low for this match. So, that's your problem, is we don't have them in a rivalry, and it did not start one, unfortunately. So, meanwhile, SmackDown, uh, all right, no injuries, I don't think. Yep, we're okay there. So, now we continue. Also, they had good booking. So, I had one hot match opening that show, and then, bleh, Whereas, they kind of went, doot, 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 and then up for the main event. So, good for them. Continue. Okay, Raw. We got... We got 71,180 fans there, and also almost the same number in profit. So, all right, sure. And Twitter's like, who's this jobber? So Chad Gable entertaining, as he should be. And okay, that was raw. So 71,180. Meanwhile, I'm ranking two. So meanwhile, SmackDown did 77,120. So we're neck and neck, pretty much. 
I mean, it is week one, so there's that, but SmackDown beat me out by just a little bit. A little bit. So, 6,000 more fans on the blue brand. And I have a lot more money than you do, Mr. William Regal. I can buy some talent, hopefully, next time on the show. Three weeks until Backlash. That's it for me today. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.